It is time for weather with Nebraska Extension Ag Climatologist Eric Hunt. Eric, it seems like temperatures are starting to crank up now that we're into July. How are things looking as you take a look at weather in the week ahead? Thanks, Bryce. It's going to be plenty hot the next couple of days across most of the state, most of the country for that matter. Look at the 500 millibar chart shows us gesturing well to north and a strong ridge of high pressure just to our southwest. Now, keep things very, very warm with temperatures well over 100 degrees across most of western Nebraska and getting into southern Nebraska. Uh, very high heat indices as well in eastern Nebraska where we have more he higher humidities. Uh, again, it's probably going to be 110 to 115 with the heat index across portions of eastern Nebraska. And I think there's portions of southwestern Nebraska that could flirt with 108 on Sunday afternoon. A little bit cooler on Monday, but still very warm. As we move into Tuesday, though, we'll see the flow amplify a little bit and a trough moving in toward the upper Midwest. That should drive a surface cold front into the region, uh, probably getting northeastern and north central part of the state by Tuesday morning. There should be a couple of chances of rounds of thunderstorms on Tuesday into Wednesday morning, and we'll see some much needed relief in terms of cooler temperatures. Uh, precipitation amounts, generally speaking, I think everybody in the state has a chance of getting something. Uh, this would be very, very welcome rain in the Panhandle. We might get a bit more than this across portions of eastern Nebraska if we end up getting more convection than is currently expected. Uh, and a much needed relief in terms of cooler temperatures, particularly for the eastern half of the state where we should actually have highs mostly in the lower to mid 80s the back half of next week. Uh, as we move to the later portion of next week, that ridge is really going to amplify across the north, across the western United States. And on the back side of that, we should actually see some shortwave energy come in Thursday night into Friday that could produce some severe thunderstorms. Something to watch out for. It's definitely not probably in the forecast right now, but something I think we have to watch out for later this next week. Uh, European model shows at least some chance of an inch of rain for a good portion of the state heading into the end of this next week. Uh, the CPC is keeping the south wet and the northeastern portion of Nebraska and the upper Midwest relatively dry as we head through the later portion of the month. Uh, this shows up in the European model and in the GFS, so pretty good agreement here on the precipitation pattern uh, as we come up through the end of the month. In terms of temperature, CPC expects relatively warm across the entire state with warmer than average, especially in the western portion of the state. Uh, and they also have a uh, slight risk for excessive heat uh, getting toward the end of the month as well. Uh, European model keeps it relatively warm across most of the state, particularly western Nebraska. GFS is warm west and cooler in the, in the east. I would favor the, this GFS solution for temperatures in eastern Nebraska. Uh, at least in terms of my own personal preference. Uh, seasonal drought outlook is definitely uh, bullish on drought formation across a very large portion of the country. I'm a little skeptical of some of this here in the Midwest. Definitely concerned about the high plains. In terms of recent precipitation, we did have quite a bit of precipitation across portions of central and southeastern Nebraska. That was relatively welcome news. Unfortunately, that also came with tornadoes and a lot of hail, uh, particularly uh, kind of right here in Dawson County. So this is an NDVI map from July 3rd and July 10th. So we saw some pretty significant decline in NDVI, most likely from hail damage right here in parts of Dawson County. Uh, we also have tar spot to contend with. So these counties in orange are counties where we have seen confirmed uh, reports of tar spot uh, this season already. Uh, so that would include uh, uh, Dodge and Saunders and Colfax and Nemaha and Richardson counties in Nebraska. Uh, in terms of stress on croplands, generally speaking, pretty good conditions across most of the country. Uh, some stress here in the high plains. Uh, definitely showing a lot of the stress on the rangelands here in the high plains, according to Vegstry. Uh, the drought monitor, we are seeing more uh, moderate drought here across the Panhandle. We did see some expansion of normal dryness in, the, in west central Nebraska. The soil moisture percentiles show relatively uh, decent surplus of moisture across northeastern Nebraska. Generally speaking, relatively good condi conditions across the state except for portions of the Panhandle. Soil temperatures are mostly in the mid-70s to low 80s across the state. And this is our temperature precip roundup. Thanks and back to you, Bryce.